Hello YouTube. Guess this will be a weekly haul video seeing how uh, I got a bunch of new green light in the mail. Haven't been finding nothing at the stores or seeing anything new out at the stores. So, uh, This is M2 I put together in my last video. I did not complete it in my last video, so really, really look good looking M2. Really like the white rims. Can't tell, but the fog lights, no, they're not lensed. They did kind of look lensed. Really, really awesome Mustang. And then, got the Johnny Lightning out to compare it to the M2. Does have rubber tires, metal base, and 1999 playing Manus. I don't think this is that old from 99, but the casting might have been when they got the rights to it was in 99. And I thought it was smaller than the M2, but it's actually very, very comparable in size. Might be a hair smaller, but not much. And of course we got the green light M2, or the green light here. Which I think the, this is an old green light. Got a green tab. Might be from Country Roads or something. And the green light does have lens detail for the fog lights. I think the green light wins. But... Uh, just barely. They're all really cool. I kind of hate it when all the brands do a really good variation of something. Because then I want to get them all. I did not get out the Auto Rolled. Uh, the Auto Rolled only came out in the Deluxe with plastic tires. I really wish they would re-release it. It would be pretty awesome if they re-released it. With rubber tires and an opening hood. In their premium line. There's actually quite a few castings they can do that with. Now. They get one loose in the mail this week. Bought it from Surplus Goodies. It was less than if you would buy it with the trailer. So, went ahead and picked it up. Uh, this was from the Hitch and Toe. Comes with a flatbed trailer. Did not need the trailer. I got enough trailers. Uh, they just take up room and space. So, happy that I was able to get just a truck from Surplus Goodies. Amazing looking square body GMC. Absolutely love this thing. It'll look good in the square body collection. Can't wait to get the two new uh, auto rolls that came out that are lifted. And then we have a Johnny Lightning and a Shuko coming up. And then after that it will be all green light. So, first Johnny Lightning we have. Is a Johnny Lightning blacked out, limited to 2,000 pieces. So if you didn't get one of these, you better hurry up and pick it up. Only 2,000 of them. Just got the uh, Variation A because of the bumper stickers. Huge, huge shout out. Champion DJK 
and Mr. Free the Peace himself, Lamar Fashion. But definitely going to be hanging on to this card here. 10 Card Tuesday. Shout out Champion DJ, DJK. Free the Peace. That's both DJK and uh, uh, Lamar Fashion's the one that created that saying, Free the Peace. Uh, thanks from Illinois, which is where Champion DJK is from. License plate, Champion DJK. My other car is an auto rolled. That is awesome. Huge, huge shout out to Champion DJK. Congratulations for getting your name on a die cast van. That is awesome. One, vans are his favorite thing to collect. Vans and Volkswagens, amongst everything else. Don't let him fool you. He likes to collect everything. Definitely happy to have this van in the collection. Might have to pick up another one to keep carded. There's only 2,000 made. But any fans of Champion DJK, this is going to be a must have for them. And he definitely has over 2,000 fans. Should be hitting 10,000 any day now. And he is a friend of mine that I do talk to. He was actually one of the first friends I've made in this uh, in this diecast hobby after starting a YouTube channel. He was one of the first YouTubers to reach out to me. Him, Rivera, and a few others. Next, we have a Shuko. Shuko Land Rover Defender. I know they've released this in quite a few color variations. Uh, definitely got to pick up a Shuko P Porsche. Wow. Where the heck did my knife go? There it is. But this will be the first Shuko in the collection. I know they came out last year. They started hitting eBay. I don't think there's any retailers that sell them. If we had a uh, Toys R Us still, I guarantee Toys R Us would probably have them. Huh. Looks really cool in the flat black and the gloss black. Only 2,400 of these made. So I love it when I buy die casts where there's less than 3,000 pieces made. And to me, that's pretty darn limited. 3,000 or less. And then here on out, we got a ton of green light. Just a ton. One of them's number 199. It's a pretty low number, 710. Just the way they're laying down right now is easy to look at the numbers. This is a number 453, so they're all pretty low numbers. But this is a 1981 Chevy Caprice Classic with Woman in Dress from the Hobby Shop Series 9. I got about 12 green light here, so. I did not get out any of the prior releases. So there's the little woman you get. A little girl in a dress. And the car. Which actually looks a lot better in person than I thought it did in the pictures. Really looks quite good.
Then we got the 92 Ford Crown Vic LX with man in suit. All right, a man in suit. I don't think I ever got a man in a suit. Must be a reputation of uh, the car when it came out in 1992. A man in a suit. Because if you saw this car out today, probably have some 20 year old kid in it burning the back tires off of it. Looks alright in this color variation. It's awesome to get in a civilian. Same with this one. It's awesome to get both these in a civilian. I wish they would do the Ford LTD from this era. From uh, the early 80s, mid 80s. Uh, it was real square and real big like this. Uh, I think they do a Ford LTD, but I think it's from the 70s. It's a little bit more rounded. Then we got a 1978 Ford F-250 Custom from the Mecham Auctions. Now, all these are new releases. The Johnny Lightning Van and all these are new releases that have just came out recently. Really wish they would have done lens headlights with the Crown Vic. I wish they'd just make it mandatory headlights and tail lights on every vehicle green light. If they charged a dollar more for their cars, it'd be worth it. It'd be well worth it. So, this is say this is Mecham Series Five. Over eighty thousand dollars in receipts to document the restoration of it, but it doesn't say anywhere how much it sold for. That's a really nice looking truck. Love the rims on it. Seems like the stance should be slightly higher, just a little bit higher, but. Like it has a bed liner in it. Very nice looking truck though. Next we have the GTR 50th anniversary. Now this is a Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt this year. The regular one's white and the Super is blue like this. And uh, TLV came out with a GTR that's white and blue. Uh, I think they all pretty much did. Uh, this must be the anniversary year, and blue with the white stripe must be uh, a special anniversary edition or something. I don't know. I just know I love the GTR, so definitely had to pick it up. Besides, the TLV one sells for like 50 bucks or more. And the green, or the Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt. I'm sure it's probably 50 to 100. I haven't checked on it, but it seems like Supers have almost doubled in price uh, in the past four years since I've been collecting. Used to be able to pick up any good super for about fifty dollars, and uh, now it seems like any good super is a hundred. And it seems like any of the harder to get ones that were a hundred are now two hundred. Even ones that are just coming out. But casting looks really good with its big lens headlights. Really wish the three. Uh, 70Z, they would have did the lens headlights. Kind of disappointment they didn't. Next, we have the 1984 Chevy Monte Carlo SS test car. Hmm. Detroit Speed. 
Series 1. I'll take any 84 Chevelle Monte Carlo they release. I think I have all of them. They haven't released it a ton of times. There was a Breaking Bad release in red. There's a, the two car release. First cut. Uh, it came with one that's a bare metal. And then one that's painted. I like to say it was white. Then they have a uh, black release of it. So it's only been released maybe four or five times. Definitely did an amazing job with this casting. I absolutely love it. Even the interior is really detailed on this. Got a column shifter. Nice rims on this. Next one we're not going to crack open. Because I have a video coming up. Probably a muscle car Monday or something. Where I crack open a bunch of these uh, green light Dodge Charger Daytonas. But this is a new release. This is also from Meekum Auctions. White with a red fin. Looks really cool. These are all new for 2020 so far. Look and see. Not say how much it sold for. Oh wait, there it is. Sold for 346000 Oh wow. This one here sold for $57,000. Somebody got a heck of a deal on that because they spent over 80,000 in receipts for restoration. They lost their butts on that. 30 grand. Wow. So this will be opened on a future video. Along with a couple AMCs I got in the mail. Got three new AMC Javelins in the mail. This is a 71. This is an older green light. No mark on the hood. Limited to 1,000 pieces. This one you see people asking crazy money for on eBay, like 100 bucks. This is another one they can ask like 70, 80 bucks for. 71 AMC Javelin. From Country Roads. It has uh, the gold javelin stripe on the front. And then we have the Meekum. Sold for $54,000. This is another one they can ask crazy money for. So I've been after these for a while. For like years. Hanging them on a peg. Uh, most of them are from 2011 or 12. It's hard to open them just knowing the value of them carded once you open them they really lose their value but those will all be on a future muscle car monday and then we got a 1995 ford bronco highway patrol Black and white. This is a new casting from all, or from uh, Green Light. Awesome, awesome. I love the big tires they put on this thing. Looks really awesome. I did not get the Border Patrol one. I'm definitely going to have to pick it up though. I don't know why I didn't just order it. I knew I was going to want it.
Really awesome green light casting, though. But I did get the 1994 Ford Bronco in black. This is Black Bandit Series 23. The newest Black Bandit Series. Kind of like and kind of hate how when they come out with the new casting, how they'll release it in three or four different series right off the bat as soon as it comes out. So instantly, if you it's a casting you like and you want more than one variation of, you got to pick them up. This one has running boards. Looks like a smaller back bumper. This back bumper just stands out better because it's silver. Yeah, that top only stays on if it's sitting upright. Wouldn't it hurt my feelings if they attached the Jeeps like Auto Roll did or attached these ones? Uh, black one does not just pop off. Feels almost like it's glued on. Well, a couple more to go. We got the 1988 Ford Mustang GT from Hot Hatches. Kind of fitting. Started the video with a 5.0. Should have left this one for last. Ended it with a 5.0. But the next two are the two I was most excited about. Even though these are all amazing new releases from Greenlight. Very factory looking color. I mean this is absolutely how you would have saw one back then. And the last two are, we got a 1994 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Pretty sure this is not a car that was ever sold in the U.S. This is right-hand drive. It is not left-hand drive. Very, very awesome car. The only reason I know what this car even is, is because of Ken Block. He has one that's restored, that he races in like the vintage rally races. Looks a lot like this one, but it has his paint scheme on it. This is a 1996 Ford Escort RS Consworth WRC. Which is like Ken Block's favorite racing is the WRC rally cars. A big Ken Block fan, and if you don't know, if you don't know who Ken Block is, Google him, look him up on YouTube, watch a couple of his videos. Way more exciting than watching a Hot Wheels video, watching one of my videos on Hot Wheels. But very, very awesome absolutely love this i'm definitely gonna have to pick up another one i think and probably strip it down and make a custom out of it i'm gonna have to make ken blocks uh cosworth gonna have to but this is a very classic one here Lights are part of the hood, which is pretty funny. Lights are just like a huge, huge add-on to the hood. I'm not sure if the real one would have looked that big and bulky. Do you got lens headlights? Detailed motor. Very, very awesome little casting as I knock everything over. Well, that's where I'm going to end the video today. 
please make sure to like, subscribe, and please leave comments. Let me know which one of these was your favorite vehicle today. I can't make up my mind. They are all freaking awesome. Well, yeah, I can. It's a Johnny Lightning. It would have to be the Johnny Lightning with the bumper stickers. Huge shout out, Champion DJK. Oh, here I. Here's a uh, Hot Wheels variation of the Cosworth. It is way, way bigger than the green light. Still, it's cool. So let me know which one was your favorite vehicle today. I'm sure it's going to be a hard, hard choice. And please make sure to like, subscribe, and please leave comments. Thank you.